back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. Good morning, it's Taro here from Sunland Caravans and today we're going to have a look at the 2022 Sunland Phoenix. This one is a 21 foot 6 model. It's brand new, it's just come off the production line, it's waiting for its new owner to pick it up and I thought we'd have a quick look. You'll see here we've got our normal large toolbox. What's a little bit different here is Jeremy supplied his own bike rack, which is a bit of a different bike rack. So we, with this bike rack to fit it, we've had to relocate the black jack, um, electric jack. But it seems to work pretty well. They've still got their manual jack, um, still got their manual jockey wheelers there as well. This van will have an ACM of four ton, and one of the ways you can tell that visually is it's got these yellow chains because these are a higher rated chains. Their normal chains are a silver colour. Being a composite van, it's got the smooth front here, as you'll see. Now, they have got quite a few options on this. I'll try and run through some of them today, but I probably won't get through all of them. First one, outside outdoor kitchen. So these guys have gone with a Dometic outdoor kitchen that just slides out here of the through boot. And this one here you'll see, it's got three gas burners and the sink. These come in two sizes, this is the smaller of the two. Now when we fit these Dometic kitchens, you'll see the hatch itself is a little bit different. So the through boot hasn't changed in size, but the hatch has. So this is a wider hatch, but lower. The hatches only come in certain sizes, so this is how we've had to do, do this one. Normally, you'll find the hatch will be right up here, but won't be as wide as this. All right, so if you ever see that and wonder why we've done it, it's because we're putting one of these in here. Now one of the things we do allow being, allowing a little bit more custom um, changes than most manufacturers, but we do also allow customers to supply their own options or their own parts. In this case, Jeremy su supplied a few of his own. He's gone with these external tables. Now these tables here don't have a lock, which I actually really like that part, and do have a built-in light in there as well, which I don't think that'll come up and I don't think that'll come up on the camera, but there is a nice built-in light there as well. All right, we've also got, he's also supplied his own cameras. These, this van has got a camera either side of the van as well, which I think is a great idea to be able to, when you're parking, be able to see down the side of the van, plus the one on the back of the van as well. Now being a Phoenix, the standard suspension in the Phoenix is Cruise Master XT Auto Level 4 airbags, and that's what this van's got. Here's the controls here, and you activate the controls by uh, the side of the airbags by going up and down with these controls here. Then you put on auto and it'll go back to its auto level. Now for people that have already got this, I will we'll just point something out that we probably haven't always pushed, but we will from now on. Every day you should really drain your tank completely, well for about three seconds. And the idea behind that is it takes a little bit of the moisture out of the lines so we don't have any problems moving forward. So if you have got one of these, every day, just dr you're out using your van, just drain your tank for about three seconds and then it'll pump back up and it's all be good. Got another table down the back. So we, two tables are standard. Jeremy's just gone with these particular tables. And um, I think we might have a look inside. Okay, so now we're inside the van. We'll have a look at what they've done in here. And then there is a few little changes. Um, first one, obviously this is a standard queen bed. So this is a full size queen width and length. It's the standard mattress in this is a inner spring pillow top mattress, which is what this one's got. They've opted to have these different reading lights here in all positions. So what's different about these reading lights is they've got built-in USB, so good for charging. CPAP provision on both sides of the bed. That's what these little cutouts are here. And when you open up the robe, you'll find that there's 240 and 12 volt power in the bottom of the robe there. We've got a shelf up high in the robe, plus our hanging space as well. Now being a 21 foot six, we're, we're obviously a foot bigger van, normally you would get a um, pantry between the, the fridge and the dinette, but they got, these guys have option not to have that, which, and what's happened there is this space here at the cafe dinette has gotten a lot bigger. It's actually very, very spacious. They've also optioned to turn this into a bed as well. So this is a table that we can fold down and make a second bed or a spare bed. How's that leather color? I absolutely adore that leather color. I don't know what color it's called, but it's awesome. Fans, so we talked about locations of fans previously. This one here is an NCE fan, and the NCE, fan, NCE fans oscillate, like that one is there. We've had that mounted on the roof there so they can access it from the bed. Kitchen, this one has got a humongous bench space. That would definitely be a chef's um, dream having that much preparation space. They've gotten rid of the conventional oven and just gone with two induction cooktops and a bunch bunch of drawers there. We've actually got six drawers, all with soft, soft clothes 
runners, plus a shelf here, and a rubbish bin. So this is a big pull-out rubbish bin. This is the 2023 layout, or a version of the 2023 layout um, that we'll be supplying next year with all our vans. Evo stone cooktop, stainless steel sink. Now there's two different types of stain, uh, two different sizes in the stainless steel sink. This is the bigger of the two, which is actually pretty huge. Um, they've optioned not to have the draining board um, on this, but I guess that just gives them more, more bench space. Our microwave with no rotisserie plate. And up here we'll have our, well, up here they've optioned to have not have the stereo there, so we've got extra space there. There is quite a few options on this one, a few, few differences. Let's have a look inside the ensuite. So it is a huge um, ensuite. Being a 21 foot six, it is pretty much the same size as the 20 foot six when it comes to the ensuite. You'll have your towel rail um, recessed into the wall there with, that's illuminated next to the toilet. A, Dom a Dometic CTS 4110 toilet, which is a ceramic bowl toilet, cassette. A storage compartment in the, in, in the, um, in the corner there. They've, got, oh, they've even got USB power and power in, the, in there with the um, towels. I guess they'll probably have a vacuum or something like that that they might want to plug in. And our washing machine here is the 3.3 kilo top load of washing machine. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's probably as much as I can say about this van today. Um, but if you'd like any more information on this van or any of our other vans, please give myself or Michael a call. Thanks very much. Have a great day. This, this place that you have found And tell the world It's better than it sounds So come and see Our country's best by far You'll find me there Where? Out back Australia I'm going out back Out back Australia I'm going out back Out back Australia We're friends They will shake your hand Say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you. And one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. 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 See you there.